So thank you guys for being here. So I'm not sure how much or how little you know about this story, but so the full name of the documentary is Lady Wrestler, The Amazing Untold Story of African American Women in the Ring. So it's this little known story about African American women, most of them from Columbus, who were world famous professional wrestlers back in the 1950s and 60s. So um, I went, I went, I'm not a professionally or a classically trained filmmaker. I went to Ohio State, uh, majored in English, but I always had a, an interest in not only writing, but filmmaking. And I actually took radio and television at, at Fort Hayes Career Center. And everyone, it's funny, because everybody tells me I have a broadcaster's voice, but I took radio and TV not ha having no interest in being a broadcaster. I wanted to learn the behind the scenes, you know, how to edit, how to, how to produce, how to, how to make, television and in film. So how I found out about this story is most of my career has been in newspapers. And back when I was working full time at This Week News, which is owned by The Dispatch, there was, uh, there's this uh, public relations executive named Terry Anderson. So when I would call Terry for story ideas, he'd say, there's this really interesting lady that I grew up with named uh, Ethel Johnson. She always had like bodybuilders and wrestlers and actors and stuff hanging out over her house. You should interview her sometime. So this is back in 2005. So Terry set up an interview uh, with me and Ethel, and I just thought she, just, I just thought her her stories were amazing. She talked about going all over the world back in the 50s when she was like a teenager as, as a wrestler. Uh, I mean, I'm talking like Japan, Australia, Latin America, all through Canada. And then when she would wrestle in the Deep South, she would have to stay in you know, segregated boarding houses. She'd have to go in the back door of restaurants. So I ended up writing a story about her for The Dispatch, and it was published uh, the beginning of March, the first weekend of Women's History Month, which is also just happens to be when the Arnold Classic is going on, which I'm sure you know that's the, the fitness expo that Arnold Schwarzenegger puts on every year. So when Arnold Schwarzenegger's people saw the story, they called me and they said, this, is, this is lady's story is really amazing. We want to give her a Lifetime Achievement Award at the closing ceremony of the festival. So Ethel, even though she was this, you know, this wild woman in the ring, and in, in, in outside of the ring, she's very shy and reserved, and she actually just passed away in September at 83, but um, so she, she actually told them, she said, thanks, but no thanks. So she actually said no to a Lifetime Achievement Award from Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I just thought, I, I thought, well, it's, it's great that her story got out there through the Dispatch article, but I just kind of felt like that wasn't enough. Like I always say, it, does, it didn't take Orson Welles to realize her story was cinematic. So I'd always been interested in, in filmmaking, so I, I just asked her, I said, would you be willing to talk on camera? And she said yes. And so I came to find out in researching her story that there were dozens of other women like her.